Hello and welcome to yet another new series for um, the Akaran Sector. This is Start Building Imperial Knights. So I picked up these boys. I really enjoy doing the, the Blood Angels and they're kind of still ongoing, but I couldn't resist starting again. So I picked up this box of Helverins. So my plan is to get to again get to a thousand points, but this is much easier this time. This is three boxes. So one box of Helverins and then two boxes of the Warglaves uh, to give me six models in total and a thousand points. And then it's easy to bring it up to 2,000. I just need two knights or more of these guys and maybe run them as a more armature heavy list. So looking through one of the army traits gives these guys a fall out of combat and they can either shoot or charge again. So we will probably go with that. Now, here's where I'll cut in. I looked up my uh, family crest shown here. And I really like the color scheme. I think it would look really nice on the knights. So it's going to be sort of whites, and then the, uh, the the grays, and then across the top here, I'll do the hatched crosswork of the the whites with the blue. And I'm going to go back to this one. It's a nice royal blue. And I've got myself some five mil thick masking tape. So that's what we're going to use to mark off. See how well that works out. I've never seen inside one of these boxes, so I'm pretty chuffed. Right, let's have a look. And of course, it's got the uh, armager auto cannons. Four, three, four D3 shots. Got the melter gun or the heavy stubber. Let's have a look. more screws than I expected. Quite a lot of sprewage. Oh, it keeps going. And then we've got two big sized bases and then a transfer sheet which I should probably use some parts of. Uh, some interesting stuff on there. And then Obviously, I want to try and find also some transfer, water transfers of the Yorkshire Rose because I think I'll use that on the either side of the pauldron there. Alright, so okay, so one of these per model then. Alright, well, I'm gonna have a look through the instructions and jump back. So, we're making some good progress on this fella. I, he came together really easily. Uh, uh, wash, sprayed it with uh, lead belcher, washed it down with uh, Nolan oil, and then I put uh, layer after layer of thin down uh, white scar, and uh, so I've been top taping areas off, and using the blues there. The blue itself goes on a few layers. It's really quite thin, and then washed down with oh then. Um, Dragon of Nightshade wash and a Drucky Violet wash, and it gives it this is a nice, darker, sort of royal navy blue color. I've got more whites going on there, some aluminium colors there, I need to wash that down, and then the gray there, and the gold trim, and that's where they're standing. So, finished off one of the pauldrons. Um, so that one will sit on top, probably white facing forward uh, on the model. So we've got some oils and uh, we've got some seraphim sapia in there as well. The gold over the top. Might do some highlights with uh, that's the gold I have for the highlighting. Oops. What's this one? Auric. Auric armor. And then do some highlighting and that's be finished and then just repeat that. 
So this one's getting the, this has just had one coat of white on it, so I just need to do a few more. And then to do a gray bar going down diagonally either side. So that will sit either side like that. And like I said, this is an absolutely gorgeous model to put together, really easy to put together, really young. Good, and it's got, it's got some uh, moving joints and things as well that you can keep in. And these slot in and have some freedom of movement afterwards. But once the shoulder pauldron has gone on, actually you can't get that up to take them off. So you need to remember to put them on first, then glue that bit down. But that's uh, that for now. Um, so this side we'll do the other side white, another layer of that, and then grey strips down the middle to keep the colour scheme. I'm not sure about this bit yet. Need to throw in some details so we'll get gold trim around a lot of the points, gold trim around the edges there. I don't know if some of this wants to be blue, some of it wants to be grey. I'll have to have a think. But the next step is doing a white cross hatch pattern on that. That's the next step. That's going to involve lots of masking tape and layer after layer. So I'll come back once this has been masking taped up. So here's the big test. I've got the masking tape down mostly level. I'm hoping from a distance it'll look okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to really push it down, try and make sure it's all flush to the surface of the model so no white gets underneath. Save me having to touch up bits later. So now all I've got to do is do many many layers of thin down white to uh, try and cover up the blue and then do same thing again going that way. So let's see how it looks. And then my intent is to dry brush the white um, to try and blend it in gradually. But this is the picture I have in my mind. Whether it'll come out like that in the end, I don't know. So only one way to find out. All right, so we're back in. I had a bit of a long break because that's finished a lot of Blood Angel stuff, but so it's about time to get back and get back into progress with the night. So first thing I did, I put the uh, Signic base, dropped up lots of sprues, and then uh, what I did on the other side is I glued in some magnets. Because I really like this Signic base and I've been using it to display a lot of my models. So all I have to do is take the magnets on the other side, and he slots into place. I think it's hold fairly well. You can move him about and shake him a bit. But in here, at least I'll be able to move him around the battlefield. It's also good for transportation because uh, the bases are often won't get ripped off. So that's his legs done, pretty much. Um, some milling oil and all the cracks and things. Uh, colours there. Just move him across that. And then the top half, we've got top down there. Uh, you got one line across. I was thinking about doing more but just did the one. Then I dry brushed white to blend it in. That's got the, the one shoulder there. The gun itself I tested painting the, the barrel white and I quite liked it. And then down there it's got the half blue half white and then the grey motif which is following along with the rest of the model. And then which means I've got to finish off this side Again, slit it down the middle, and this got dry brushed in a. Ooh, so this is a Mr. Hobby paint aluminium, which I quite like for sort of a highlight dry brush. It just picks out the edges quite nicely. Um, so that is actually all, all over. Uh, I just need to finish the back for that, and then progress is coming on. We've got the two different options for. Hmm. Oh, there's. So we've got the melter and we've got the stubber options with the top. This one will probably get the stubber because it's going to be a more camp at the back range type uh, model. But, and then the last thing I've got 
is uh, the arms finished, glue that one in place, pop the arm and glue it in place, and then glue it all together. So we're um, approaching finishing uh, this one model. So I will finish off the barrel of this gun and, uh, and that should be pretty much stick together and finished. And here we have the finished knight as he goes round and round. I'm really happy with how he's come together and he is a joy to put together and paint. He comes in pieces, manageable pieces to paint and then you put them together in the, uh, in the end there. So while he's got the, the cannon on top, I do have the melter cannon if I do want to change that at any time. So plans for this army, I've got the other model in this kit to paint, then I want to get four of the war glaives and that will run me a thousand points or just under and then from there add in get a knight preceptor perceptor and build that to be able to take magnetize to any of the knights depending on how I feel um, but the preceptor gives these guys uh, reroll ones within six inches for now unless they change that in uh, when they finally get their codex uh, for ninth edition but for now I'm happy with him and uh, get five more models done and then that's finished and ready to go right. but for now this has been Andrew on the Akaran sector please do like and subscribe uh, we've got bat reps coming up uh, we should have some that have just come out by the time this video comes out we'll have filmed some think um, and the blood angel are getting their first game this weekend and that pedal report should be up before I finish the... I'm waffling here thank you for watching please like and subscribe we'll see you in the next video